To decoupage a bottle, we need an empty and clean bottle. For priming, gesso. For base coat, white paint. Mod Podge for decoupage. For Christmas theme, I'm using this Christmas theme uh, napkin. To give the glitter effect, glitter snow. Paint of your choice. And to complete the look, some 3D stickers and ribbon and varnish. We're going to start with putting primer on the bottle. It's gesso. So make sure your uh, brush is dry and because gesso is very allergic to water and put a coat of gesso on your bottle. You can also use a sponge brush to do this. I'm using a flat brush here. Just cover the entire bottle. So once done, keep it for drying for a day. Yeah, it takes a longer time for gesso to dry on glass. Make sure it is completely dried. After the gesso has dried, you see, this is how the bottle looks. I'm going to use texture white paint to paint it completely white now. I'm going to put a coat of it on the whole bottle. I prefer to use a white base coat for my tissue papers so it comes alive. apply the paint all over keep the bottle for drying for few hours usually it takes two to three hours for this paint to dry completely on this bottle after your acrylic paint has dried a bottle looks like this and now it's ready to for decoupage I'm going to work with tissue now Keep your bottle aside and I just want half of this to come on my bottle. So I'm going to tear this tissue it's using plain water and a brush. Dip brush in the water and draw a wet line over here from where you want to cut.
okay so now this is how it looks and it's perfect to go on your bottle the perfect fit for your bottle now I'm going to remove the layers so this is a three layer tissue paper we're going to remove the layer one by one this is layer one this goes and there's another layer you see here and remove this layer as well now we are ready to put it on your bottle we're going to work on the smaller areas to recapage this design on the bottle And I want this door to come in the front. So now we're going to use Mod Podge mat. Put Mod Podge on a small area of the bottle. So you have to be very sure that you should not put much, a lot, because then you can you might end up tearing the paper and you should also not put less otherwise you might get the air bubbles so both the things just the exact size has to be um, exact amount has to be put for the mod punch thing and now here we go just stretch your paper stretch the tissue and apply such a way that you don't get wrinkles so while working with the tissue and the round surface make sure you don't you know just go up or down you make very sure your design comes very properly placed it is properly placed in your bottle it should not deflect in a round surface you often have that uh, you know risk to go wrong and especially when you have a design like a door Christmas theme door it will not look good if no, if I deflect This is how your bottle looks. I'm going to stick this also using deco punch, glue mat, this mod punch, and just supply a little glue beneath the tissue and yeah, move your brush upwards. So once you apply the tissue paper, just keep this bottle to dry for 5-10 minutes and then we will apply another coat of Mod Podge. After leaving this for 5 minutes, we are going to put another coat of Mod Podge on top of the tissue paper. This completely seals your project. I waited for 10 minutes for the coat to dry because 
you always have a risk of tearing it when your tissue paper has been put recently and has not dried completely just put a layer of mod podge you make sure you cover all the the complete surface okay now i'm going to keep for drying just leave it for half an hour so that the smart brush dries completely the mod podge uh, dries transparent so no worries here now i'm going to put this fabricable color and choose the red color as it goes with the christmas theme on the top surface of the bottle where i have not put any tissue so i'm going to make it deep red you can choose any color of your choice for me uh, I feel that this should be a Christmas theme and it should be red so going with that color So want to paint the base also red quite a big bottle so i'm painting the base red as well just keep it for drying for some time before we move on to the next step after the color has dried i want to go with the snow effect for the christmas theme i'm using this glitter snow for that What we need to do is just take a little bit of snow in your hands and just put it on the side. So I am trying to put it on the, especially on the edges, you know, visible edges where I have put the tissue paper and then where from the and from the point this color starts. I am trying to put snow there, give the snow effect. Here you go. I'm also going to put it on on the base of this tissue, and it gives a very nice effect. Adds to the you know picture. It's a door, and the snow close to the door. adding a little snow on top of the trees no not 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 too much also because i don't want to you know take up with the visibility of this beautiful picture out here when do you press a little faster you get up this snowy effect yep here we are done with the snow part just keep it for drying so after the snow has dried this is how your bottle looks to give it the final look to it i'm going to varnish it with this compact varnish and keep it for drying after the varnish has dried the bottle is ready to be decorated i'm going to add some embellishments to it the christmas ones so here goes the ribbon i usually like to tie it very simple you can try you can definitely try different ways you know try typing of uh, 
doing ribbon so this is how it goes um, the bottle has got a flat surface over here so I'm gonna put this Christmas flower looks and these are some three stickers that I want to put the bell one goes well should go well and I'm going to put it here I'm going to put it here. Okay. Yeah. So this was the final thing, yeah. And the Christmas themed bottle is ready. <laughs>